if you go to the blog page and check out the console you will see that we have some errors here regarding props attributes let's fix that be before we implement pagination i'll go to that uh, component and then i'll wrap everything in a div then grab the closing tag then just before the template then save that and when i refresh we no longer have those errors if you want an in-depth explanation of that error and how to fix it i'll leave this link in the description uh, i just want to concentrate on um, pagination for this video so let's go ahead and implement pagination and for pagination we don't have the links here so i'll grab them from the template then i'll paste them on that page so here just before the div let's see how that looks like now we have our links but they are hard coded let's make them dynamic and to do that i'll first go to the controller where we are returning the posts and i'm going to paginate that so here i'll just say paginate and since i have very few posts i'm going to use one post per page so that you can clearly see what is happening then i'll grab this and reuse it here reuse it here as well so now since we are paginating whatever we are returning we should be able to get the pagination links in the response so if i come here to the blog and go where we have our mounted method and then here i want to console log the response so that we see what is happening i'll first add curly braces because i want to add another statement here and then i'm going to log the response let's see what we get and then we don't see anything refresh yeah now we have our response and then when you go to the response go to the data go to the meta then go to the links and here we have all our links and it's an array so let's grab those links so that is response dot data dot meta dot links i'll leave this here since we will refer to it while we implement the pagination then here i'm going to say this dot links and we've not yet defined the links is equal to our response dot data meta links then in our data we will have the links and by default that will be an empty array now that we have our links we can go ahead and uh, display them here i'll copy this then comment it out we will refer to some of the things from there then here i'm going to remove all this then i don't want to hard code this before looping through i'm going to add to add a hash here so that when you click on it it doesn't refresh the page then here i'm going to use v4 and let's grab the index as well to use it as our key so that is link index then in links links yeah then our key and that will be the index then for the inner html text we are going to use vhtml and then let's see how we are going to inject that if you come to our links the first link you can see it has a label the second link it has a label so we can grab the label by saying link dot label so link dot label save that let's see what we have in the front end and we have our pagination links after that remember when you are on page one we have that active class let's see that we have this active class to have that green background so let's add that dynamically i'll come here and we'll have class and then we will have the active class 
when so if you go back to the links so now we are on page one notice that active is true when you go to page two active is false here is false so whenever active is true let's add that active class so here i'm going to say when link dot active is true let's see that go back and it's working now we have that now when we are on page one notice that we can click on this so it would be nice if you can disable this so that uh, we it doesn't look like it's something that you can click on since you're not going anywhere when you click uh, previous so what i'll do i'm going to add a class of disabled at the bottom dot disabled and then i'm going to set point um, pointer events to none then i'm going to add that class dynamically so here i'm going to add it disabled and that will be applied when let me show you when so like now if you see the where are our links here are our links so you can see that the url is null when it's not clickable and then when it's clickable we can see we have a an api endpoint to fetch the posts so whenever it's null let's have that uh, pointer event to none so i'll come here and say when link dot url is false so save that now if you come back and check it out you ca it's not the pointer event is none that looks nice so now let's go ahead and implement the logic when someone clicks on any of these buttons so we need a click event and i'll come here and i'll have a click let's call a method called change page and let's pass our link so that we will use it to determine what to do next then i'll grab this method let's go ahead and create that our methods where are you guys here they are and we'll have that so the first thing i want to do is if someone is on this if someone is on page one and they click on page one i don't want to do anything because it means you want the same page and uh, if they click on previous i also don't want to do anything because previous is null so here i'm going to say i'm going to do a check if um, link dot url is false or link dot active so maybe you are on page six so link will be active so if you click on that we just want to return let's do nothing else if now you don't do that you do anything other than that it means now you want to go to, you want to go to another page so if you click on two three five or something you want to go to another page and the good thing is for example if you click on number three if we come here number three the api is already created for us by laravel so we just need to make an api request to that so we will do that i'll come here and grab this that is making a get request and i'll just modify it so we are making a get request to where so let's remove all these we are making a get request to link dot url and that will be dynamic then for example let's say let's say someone clicks on page three so now page zero will no longer be null so you can click on previous that means the links have updated so we need to update the links as well at this point so i'll come here and if this is successful where are we here if this is successful we also need to update the links so let's see where we have our links here we are and i'll grab this and then scroll up and then if that's successful i will also update the link so that we have the updated structure 
and um, I think that's uh, that's all. So let's test that. If I come here, I click to page two. It's working. Page four. It's working. Previous. It's working. And that's it. That's how you implement pagination in Laravel with Vue. But there is one more thing. So if I go to home page and I click on sport. So in my database, I have two posts that have the category of sports. So if I click sports now, I get uh, the first post. But again, I get a lot of links here and yet I only have two posts. So it doesn't make sense. If I click to page two, I don't even get the post that has the sports category. So it would be nice if I click on sports, I only get the posts that have that category. And so in this case, I should only have two links because I only have two posts. And if I had 10, then I, I would get 10 pages. So let's uh, fix that. And to fix that, it's very easy. We will go to the controller. And since we are using query strings, remember we are requesting category or title in the query string. So here we are going to add after pagination. We'll just tell Laravel that please keep in mind that we are using with query string. And that's all. So I'll grab this. So here we are also fetching with query string. Yeah, and that's it. So now if I come back, there is one more thing we need to do. Let's go to blog and I'll grab this. So remember, whenever you make a successful request, we need to update the links. So let's go where we make the filter by category. So we get the posts by the category. So we also need to update the links here. Then when you do the same using the title, which is here, we also need to update the links. And that's it. So if I come back, I click sports, I get page one and two only. Page two, and that is sports. And I have any, I don't have any other posts. So if I do like entertainment, they are three. So I get three pages, page three, page two. That's it for this lesson. And this actually marks the end of this series. Thank you very much for your time. Happy coding and cheers.